Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, a big welcome to you as well. Very happy to have you here. In today's video, we're gonna go over specifically gearing, but more towards like the beginning of the game. So it's a beginner's guide to gearing, obviously. So I'm just gonna walk you through basically what you're gonna be doing at the beginning of the game. I'm gonna go over everything that you wanna look at, everything you wanna consider. Um, I have notes over here this time. I'm not just winging it. Basically until you get to Wyvern 9, and progression up into Wyvern 11. Um, if you're completely brand new to the game and you have no idea what Wyvern 9 and Wyvern 11 is, I will briefly cover that in the video, but this is more so a guide on gearing, not progressing through Wyvern. There's hundreds of guides on YouTube on how to progress through Wyvern. Um, if you're interested, like literally just type in Epic 7 Wyvern Guide and, and you'll find something, trust me. Like, that, that's not what this video is about. This video is more specifically towards gearing. But before we get into all of that, I want to give a um, big shout out to my first five members on the channel. Um, we got Wild, Yan, Shu Chi, FTS Forever, Huffer6, and Celerity. Big appreciation goes out to you guys. Um, I really, well, that was a terrible way of saying it. Big, who says big appreciation? I really appreciate you guys for um, taking the leap and helping me live this dream of doing content full time. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. And yeah, thank you very much. So let's get into this video. First things first. Sorry, if you see my screen disappear for a second, it's because I'm bringing up tabs on my other monitor here. Um, let's go ahead and make this full screen. All right. So, when you get into the game, I'm on my, um, I haven't been on this account in, in a very long time. This is my baby account that I was doing the beginner's side, or the beginner's, um, guide on. Um, I made it to three episodes and I just kind of like stopped playing this account. I was intending on doing the, the beginner's guide, like I was going to continue it on my other account. But it just kind of like died off because I noticed like the, the the first episode did very well. The second episode did okay. And then it looks like people weren't interested after that. So I'm, I'm, that's why I'm doing this beginner's guide. It's kind of like more specific things. So people can learn about a specific thing than rather watch me go through a playthrough of a whole new account when they can just play the game themselves, right? So the first thing we're going to talk about is the adventurous path here. When you, when you first get into the game, um, I'm not sure how fast, I think this pops up like literally right away. Yeah, it, it, I'm pretty sure, yeah, clear stage one for an adventure. Um, basically what you're gonna be doing through the whole beginning stages of the game is you're gonna be following this, doing everything it says in here. But like I said, this is a gearing guide, so we're gonna focus specifically on the gear that comes out of here. You're gonna go through this and you're gonna do everything it says pretty much in, in order and basically until you clear out the whole story and, and get all those rewards. So you'll, you'll notice you'll get some random pieces of gear as you do it. Um, there will be things in here that tell you to level up a piece of gear to like plus six. This is all you want to do. When, when you're leveling your gear, you'll use like the fodder that drops from different stages. You'll get like crappy gear and you just feed that into your other gear or you'll get these charms that level up your gear um ideally save save these charms and and use the gear that drops from the stages first because you can use these charms at all times and that gear is gonna fill up in your inventory and you're gonna want to get rid of it because it's gonna fill up in your inventory your inventory is gonna be full and it's gonna be like oh you can't go in here because your inventory is full so Focus on using that gear first before using your actual charms. You'll be able to get a couple levels out of it. And then you can save the charms and use them for later. Because they don't take up your inventory space. So it's good to hold on to as many charms as you can. And you can use them on the gear you intend on taking to a higher level later. So, like, looking at this adventure path here, you'll, you'll, you'll get this attack set. When you level up your gear... Um... Let me, let me just go to my bags here. Um, in those initial stages, just level up your weapons. 
to to the plus six and the reason why i say level up your weapons is because it carries a flat attack set this will just help you clear stages faster you're gonna get more out of getting flat attack on your weapon than say leveling up you know this chest piece that has flat defense on it it's not going to help you clear stages faster so when you're leveling up gear to meet these requirements level up your weapons and have your weapon on whatever unit you're using to do damage with um, so whatever five star you took like if it's Vildred or if you took Sigrid or Firekin put put your weapon on there level that up to plus six continue going that way so and then you'll, you'll continue going through this and then eventually you'll hit a point where it says do abyss um, don't do abyss until it tells you to do abyss in here um, I actually think it doesn't unlock until uh, you get to the stage in here I'm pretty sure um, I could be wrong about that but um, you'll be able to clear to stage 3 the first day that you play make sure you get this far and then you can keep going and I think you have to clear to stage 5 that's like basically you, you want to get to that point and then probably hang it up for the day because you're not going to be able to continue down the adventurer's path once you get to that stage um, see here's like enhanced equipment to plus 9 just make sure you keep doing a weapon um, I think by this stage you get that level 55 destruction set. Uh, let's see. Maybe not. So yeah, you'll, you'll, no, you get the lifesteal set here. Um, it's not a great set, to be honest. Yeah, enhance equipment to plus 9. Um, maybe by this stage you'll have a piece of gear from Labyrinth. It's another thing I need to talk about. It, um, it'll tell you to go through Labyrinth as well. When you go to these Labyrinths here. See, like, like this is a very brand new account, as you can see. Um, when I went through these Labyrinths, I just made sure I went straight to the chests in every area. Because you get this attack set. Um, I don't think I have the chest piece anymore. But like you'll you'll get uh, this helmet out of there, which is it's okay. I mean, you'll get this weapon. This is the weapon that I took up to plus nine in that story in, in in that adventurer's path check mark right there. This is the weapon I took the plus nine and I took it to plus twelve as well, because it's a decent it's a decent weapon to start out the game. It has good stats on it. Um, this is something you'll level up in the beginning stages. Um, I think I, I don't remember exactly which labyrinth stage you get it from, but I know you'll get it as long as you go straight to the chest and then finish the labyrinth stage after that. Um, if you look up online, if you if you just type in Epic Seven Labyrinth Gear, you'll find um, like guides that have where the chests are, you know, and and then make sure you just go straight to that chest when you do your labyrinth and um, grab that piece of gear and then use that to progress further so you'll do that um and then another thing i want to bring up the second you get into like it won't be like the very second you get into this but this is a habit that you're going to want to get into um i can't teleport there right now but um right here there is a hoochie guy i guess i could just go this way and we'll go over there real quick i'll probably just cut this part out all right, so we made it over to Hoochie. Um, there, there's a uh, quests or, or reputation things to where you will want to 100% every stage of the labyrinth. Um, so you'll you'll come back and do that like once you you hit a wall in your progression, you'll come back and you'll 100% all of them. But um, you'll want to come visit this dude every day. Just make it a habit it's because me, he carries charms. He also carries bookmarks. Hoochie. So you'll just come through and buy all of this. Um, these become very scarce playing the game. Just stock on them the second you start playing. So artifacts become a pain in the ass to level up later in the game. Once you buy all that stuff, you can yield out, and it doesn't use your token. So do this like, this is like one of your daily things. Like when you get into the game, this is one of the first things you'll be doing. Like this is the very first area. Um, it's going to cost gold. Hopefully you have gold just through playing through Adventurer's Path. You get a good amount of gold. So just make sure you come in every day and go visit him and, and buy that because 
all these charms that you get will stack up. As you can see, like, I haven't been really playing this account, but I wouldn't even have this ring charm if I didn't go into Hoochie and buy it. This is a lot of experience for a higher piece of gear. So, and then you'll just stack up on all these charms, which is nice. And then there's another area. Um, I haven't, I don't play this account anymore, but there's automaton. As soon as this unlocks, you can start progressing through this. It does cost stamina to go through, but as you can see, there's uh, rewards here. And you get ch more charms and you get uh, accessories. Um, Honestly, I wouldn't grab the accessories from here until you get to the really high stages. I would just grab charms. Like, just grab the charms as you progress through. I believe it's every fifth stage you get some kind of charms or some kind of Mulligora and Skystones and stuff. Just make sure you're progressing through this as far as you can. It resets monthly. Um, two summons there, a leaf there. So just, just make sure you're pushing through here. Um, not necessarily for the, the, the charms. The charms are bad. Um... You'll get better rings and stuff just from doing your adventures path and from doing um, Labyrinth. So like for rings, this comes from Labyrinth. It's a decent ring. This comes from the Abyss. It's also a decent ring. You get this from adventures path. Um, where's the other one? And you get this from adventures path. And as you can see, that's, that's four rings. They're all attack rings. So it might not be a bad idea to pick up like a health ring to use through here to give to whatever you're using as your frontline unit or your healer. Um, might not be a bad idea to grab maybe one HP one or maybe a defense one because your attack ones are covered. You'll never need to grab an attack one from the lower stages. But like I said, as you progress further, um, once you get into the higher stages, I believe it's 90 or it's, it's 95 you get a, a level 78 piece of gear, which is, it's a selection chest and it's a pretty good, pretty good ring out of there. So once you get to that point, then, then you'll start grabbing the rings. But before then, I, I don't really think you need to. So I think I, I spent too, like more time on this than I wanted to, but I just wanted to make sure there was, you know, I went through it and gave you a clear understanding on what to do once you get to that point. And then like same, same thing with Abyss, I pointed out the ring in there. Um, these stages are fairly easy to get to. And then you'll you'll grab all this gear from here. From stages it's like uh 30 yeah, 32. You'll get a weapon. It's all life still set. The set isn't fantastic, but it is a set that you'll be using at the beginning of the game. Um Hopefully uh like it rolls well. Really. If it rolls really bad, you might not even use it anyways, but the, the, the big boy set is the attack set that you get from finishing out your adventurous path, which is this set right here. And I'll show you the requirements to get there. So once you, you've gone through and you've just done like the adventurous path stuff and you progress through all of that, you'll get down to the uh, this stage. Um, it's more explore labyrinth to make sure you're just progressing through that and then by here you will complete the adventure pretty much 10 10 clear hunt 5 you know it shows you how to craft gear just go through all that normally um, and then at this stage you'll completely clear the adventure and then it tells you to make your first six star so ideally where you'll be making your first six star is probably in the side story because you're going to want to come in the side story. Whatever one is available here, it might not be this one. But you'll, you'll come in, do the side story. Farm up materials, because you'll want to buy this Molagora. Um, it's nice to buy these catalysts too. Don't stress about it too much early game, unless you specifically have a unit that you're using that needs these. Um, buy the bookmarks and buy the artifact charms. This is what you want to foc focus on. Like, like if you're brand new and just getting into the game, this is what you want to do first, is, is grab these things. And then, especially this. This and the artifact charms and, and, and the covenant bookmarks. Like, the catalysts are nice. If you want really want to grind it out to grab all of these things, you can definitely do that. But it's not necessary, like I said, if, you, if you've just started. Um, this is something you'll do every side story. You'll completely farm this thing out. 
Um, you could probably skip this, and you could probably skip these, but when when this this is just like a, a every two weeks thing, you're gonna want to completely clear this shop out to get all these things. And then while you're farming, you'll get fodder, right? This is what you use to level your gear. I was talking about this earlier. So like, if I come over here, like this this is equipment fodder that you use to level your gear with. Um, it can be various different levels. As you see, I have level 44s here. This is primarily what you'll be using to level your gear with until you get to chapter three, which won't be for a while. Um, but this is what you, you'll be leveling your gear with. This is your bread and butter. So like, if I wanted to come here, level up this helmet, I would just come down, throw all these helmets in there, and this is how you level gear. So while you're farming to make your six stars, you'll just take all the gear that you get in here, go level up whatever piece you're trying to level up. This is how you'll do it. So we'll just knock this up to plus nine. And there we go. More effect resistance. Yeet. All right. So there's that. There's also, I wanted to bring this up. There is Hall of Trials. Um, this isn't really a, like a gear thing, but um, Exclusive equipment kind of is gear. If you're using any of these units, you're gonna to wanna to pick up this exclusive equipment. Don't worry about scoring really high in here. But um, these these things are very powerful. Some of them are extremely powerful for your characters, for whatever you're using. Just come in here, do the boss. Don't worry about scoring high, just make sure you get it done. And then another thing I wanna bring up is check-ins and event gear. So if I come into my check-in rewards, there, we have the basic one, right? But um, like right now we have this check-in thing. So five-star hero. I should actually log in and, and do this on this character. So this is only available until September 30th. Right now it's the 14th is the time I'm recording this. So this is stuff that you want. <laughs> When, whenever they're doing something like this, just make sure you grab it. Like, there's a full 78 destruction set right here. So, like, this this makes gearing so much easier if you're able to grab event stuff. Event stuff makes everything a hell of a lot easier. So, like, you would use this over using that level 55 set that's in the, the thing. So, it just really depends on when you're starting the game, when you're playing the game, when you made your account. Um, if there's event stuff going on. And then you have your returning user stuff as well. So like this account I hadn't been on in a while. Um, I came back, like if I log back on it tomorrow, I get a full level 85 set. So it might not even be terrible to start an account, let it chill until this becomes available and then come back and then just grab all the free shit and then you progress even faster. Um, that's one way to do it. Like even if you were to do an alt account, this is one way you could do that. And then there's also new player check-in event. Um, I'm guessing, I don't know if this is permanent. It doesn't look like it's not. So yeah, it looks like new players just get more free stuff. So yeah, this is insane. But like, I have these pieces, these sets already on this character or on this account. Uh, it's uh, these two sets. These sets are absolutely insane. Um, especially this health set. You'll use this the entire time you're playing. Um, you get a full set of this 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 gear, and this is like what you need, really. Um, it honestly looks like with the way they have it set up now, like labyrinth gear is kind of pointless. So, yeah, focus on leveling up the 75 stuff if if that that is permanent. I didn't even realize that was permanent. So some guide, right? Um, but like this attack set, like I leveled up the weapon first, put it on my Purge so he can farm. He's my farmer. And you know, like this is the set that you'll get from that. It's like this account will get a second set. So maybe I'll start playing it again, just casually. Um, and then yeah, that's how you do it. And then going from there, we'll, we'll touch on arena real quick. So if you go to the shop here. What do you think? Once you can start doing arena, make sure you do it. It's gonna suck because um, there's gonna be some really geared people that you think shouldn't be there. Um, just suck it up. Do your if, if you lose, you lose. Just make sure you do the N NPC battles first. And if you lose, just make sure you're using your flags so you can collect conquest points and then you can come in here and grab gear. Specifically, you wanna grab the pieces of gear that will help you get to Wyvern faster. So, like these boots are in, like the speed suit is pretty much like the best set really um this ring's insane like a lot of this gear is really good um 
The destruction set's pretty good as well. There's a couple really good pieces. Like, this neck is absolutely insane. Um, this helm's insane. The weapon's not bad. Uh, the boots could be better. But, like, all this gear is very good. And then the current one, like, this is really good. This is really good. Like, this one's absolutely insane. I think I would buy that first on this. But you gotta, you need this currency. So you actually have to do arena before you can get it. So, you're gonna be wanting to farm out this gear. Just look through the gear. Make sure you grab the one that's gonna help you out the most in that order. And then, yeah. So we talked about check-ins already. We talked about how to level up gear. Um, while you're farming your six stars, you're gonna go in there and do that. And you wanna... Go through that. So basically, once you're doing all of this, and you get through the story, and you're going to continue progressing, your adventurous path is done, you'll be going through the hunts, and basically, you've completed everything that I've gone over in this guide once you reach Wyvern 9. This is where you want to get, and the reason... Oh, wow, they, uh... Uh, oh wait, mainly you want to you want to get to the stage because it has a chance to drop level 85 gear. See, 8 doesn't drop it. 9 drops it. So this is the stage you want to get to. And this is the stage you're going to be farming, which I will go over in my next guide. Um, yeah, I think this is plenty. This guide's been long enough. Actually, it's going on 22 minutes. So I will pick this up in my intermediate guide. So if you are... Um, interested in seeing the continuation of this it's going to be three or four videos um i'm going to go over what to do at this stage of the game in the same fashion that i did this i will go over more specifically like what kind of gear you should be rolling when you get to the stage of the game because that's when more rng comes into play getting to this point the gear pretty much has set stats anyways um so you're just going to want to roll it is how it's going to come down to so in the next video, I'll go over more specifically what kind of gear you should roll and what kind of gear you shouldn't roll. And take you from here to here. And then the guide after that will be take you from here to here. And then the guide after that will be to make your units as best as possible. So if you want to learn gearing, like in and out, hit that subscribe button and hit that like button and hit the bell so you know when I upload the next one. Um, I don't think I'm going to upload anything between these. These are the videos I'm focusing on right now. So, yeah. If you're new here, like I said, hit that sub button. Um, I don't care about the bell, but if you want to catch when the next one goes live, because YouTube's not going to tell you unless you hit the bell, hit the bell. Um, I'm doing this full time, so if you like what I'm doing and you want to support me other than just watching the videos, I do have a join button with a couple different tiers. If you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, if you want a shout out like I did at the beginning of this video, you can do that there. And, um, yeah. And it's much appreciated. I really appreciate every single one of you guys. Don't feel like you have to support. You know, you just watching my video. Being a subscriber in itself, completely fine with me. Unless you're using an ad blocker. And if so, you're a bully. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't care. Whatever. So, with that being said, um, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Thanks for watching. Especially if you watched all the way to the end of this long-ass video of me talking. Um, hopefully you learned something from this. I think there was something I missed. There probably was something I missed. Um, I'll just, yeah. I'm sure there's something I missed. If there's something I missed, leave it down in the comments. Um, yeah, and I'll try to squeeze it in the next one somehow. Um, I know I didn't talk about guilds, but there's not really any gear coming from guilds. Um, you do want to join a guild uh, so you can get access to world boss. That's about it which has a chance to drop high level gear and uh, you can get charms and equipment conversion. I'll go over that more in the next one. So yeah, with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.